All right, 7.2, start with part A. So we're going to let U be the collection of open subsets of X whose measure is zero. Then we're going to let N be the union over all U in script U of U. N, what do we know about it? It's a union of open sets and thus is open. So let K subset of N be compact. Uh, basically we're trying to show that the measure of N is zero. So if we're going to use uh, inner regularity which holds on uh, Redon, open subsets of Redon measures. Open cover of K. So there is a finite subcover. U1 through UN of K. Eh, okay. Then, the measure of k is less than or equal to the union from 1 to n of the measure of the uj's. Um, and this is certainly equal to 0 because it's a, a finite sum of things, finite sum of 0 over and over again. So then, by inner regularity, Un is the supremum for these things where k is compact, and that's just the supremum over zero over a collection of things which are all zero, so it's just zero. Hence, n is open and measure of n equals zero. Alright, now for b. So we're going to do one direction. So we're going to suppose that x is in the supportive mu, which we know is equal to the complement of n. So let f be in compactly supported functions on x taking values in zero and one. And let it be such that f of x is positive. By continuity, there is an open neighborhood u of x such that f of y is identically greater than one half of f of x for all y in u. So now, if it were the case that the measure of u were zero, then since u is open, u would be contained in n, which would contradict the fact that x is in n complement. Thus, measure of u greater than zero. So hence, what does that tell us? If we integrate f d mu, then just by doing really super rough estimates, um, it's certainly greater than the value it takes on u because it takes values in zero, one. And that's greater than um, just one half fx times the measure of u. And this is strictly greater than zero. And so that's what we wanted to show. Scroll down. Not sure if I'm going to need that much more room, but we'll see. Um, sure, I'll start another paragraph because I have room. Conversely, suppose x is in n. 
then there must be an, uh, then there is an open neighborhood u of x whose measure is 0. Then by your zone there is some f in c c x 0 1 such that f is 1 at x and the support of f is contained in u. Then the integral of f d mu is less than or equal to the integral over u of d mu because it's less than or equal to 1 on u. Right, and its support is contained in u. Um, so, but then this is equal to the measure of u, which is 0. So integral of f d mu equals 0. So it is not the case that for all f in c c x 0 1 such that f of x is greater than 0 we have that the integral of f d mu is greater than 0 so we prove that not the first in the first paragraph we prove not the first not a we so if if we want to if, if our thing was to prove a if and only if b the first paragraph was a implies b second paragraph was not a implies not b or contrapositively the b implies a so if integral of f d mu is greater than or equal to z is strictly greater than zero for eh, for all f in c c x zero one such that f x is greater than zero then x is in the support of mu so hence if and only if holds. Um, so basically, if and only if, if um, so this then, instead of, instead of this being, this implies this, it would just be if and only if. And there we go. This completes the proof.